Hi, Empress Justice here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just watched one of my old videos and it was just, just a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay, so daily readings. They are on Twitter, uh, Instagram and Facebook. I had to do a little rearranging of the readings on Twitter because they didn't come out how I expected them to. So I had to rearrange them a little bit. They're online now in order looking good okay so check them out on twitter instagram and facebook also i have done uh june readings on my empress justice tarot youtube if you want to check that out on empress justice tarot youtube the timestamps are up there and everything so you can go ahead and check that out there's some noise pollution in the background uh when it comes to the zodiac readings um but hopefully because i turned the music up so that you could so you could hear me I don't know how that would help in hindsight but you know I tried to kind of drown out the bike in the background so if you can hear everything that's from Libra to Taurus those readings in particular so if you can still hear them no it's Libra to Gemini Libra to Gemini so if you can still hear them then by all means check out my YouTube and everything and, and if everything's kosher let me know if it's not let me know um I'll try to find a way around the noise pollution issue um yeah so anyway update on me update on me um nothing much has been happening um i could say what i know i could say but i feel like right now i just want to wait until like i get all the information before I start talking about anything new. Um, huh. What I'm about to say now is really just conjecture, okay? It's really conjecture at this point, but I think I think the truth might be coming out about what's been going on. And the thing is, is that I think people know that I'm not going to lie about anything that I've done. So if they're not, if I'm not going to lie about anything that I've done, I think people have kind of realised by now that I'm not going to lie about anything that they've done either. Now, what I notice with perps and with the so-called flying monkeys right is that they all share one thing in common lack of accountability now i could lie to someone and have every intention of being dishonest of misdirecting them of manipulating them i could have every intention of doing that my intentions and my actions are my responsibility. But if the other person chooses to believe me, rather than thinking to themselves, okay, well, something doesn't seem right. Why is it that you're the only one who's been talking to other people about this person and this person has only been talking online and I haven't been talking to the other villagers or they've only been talking to like, one other villager and that's it like why is it that you're the ones going around talking shit about everybody else but that person that you've been talking about hasn't been so instead of doing your research instead of asking critical questions and instead of thinking for yourselves you decide to believe the lie of a person just because you like them and just because they sucked your dick enough that's when it stops becoming the problem of the liar and it starts becoming the problem of the person who chose to believe it. Because the thing is, we all choose to believe shit. We all choose to believe shit. I choose to believe shit. And sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. And your thing is, people get it wrong all the time. You're like, you choose to believe a certain... Uh, turn of events over and like you know you choose to believe somebody 
because you know you liked them it had nothing to do with them being honest it had nothing to do with them being truthful they manipulated in the right you in the right way they stroked your ego in just the right way so you like them it's as simple as that you like them so you believe them and the thing is when as human beings as human beings we are more inclined to believe people that we like or people that we have spoken to more than we are inclined to believe somebody that we haven't spoken to or that we don't like or that we don't fear. That is human nature. It's human nature. It's not abnormal. It's human nature. But it is still a choice. It's still a choice we make. I make it all the time. I constantly, I'm constantly trying to side with people who I think are underdogs only to turn around, only to turn around and find out I've got that completely wrong. Imagine how dumb I feel every time that happens. And I keep falling for the same shit. Always. I keep falling for the same shit. If people want to manipulate me, all they have to do is prove that they're an underdog in some form, shape or other. It doesn't matter whether you deserve that underdog status or not. You show me you're an underdog and I'm fucking butter. And I had to learn the hard way that just because somebody is an underdog, it doesn't necessarily mean it's not well-deserved or somebody didn't have that coming, okay? Now, there are certain times where I see people being made into underdogs and I think, yo, that's weak. And I, you know, and it becomes about people being weak and people being you know, malicious and cowardly rather than like attacking a person who actually deserves it. But not every single underdog is some helpless victim or somebody who's undeserved. Not every victim's carry. Not every victim is, is carry from Stephen King. There are people who are underdogs who fucking deserve that shit. So in order to manipulate me, and get me to believe somebody else's bullshit, all they have to do is convince me that they're poor and put upon, that they're victims, that they're this, that, that, and the third, like, all they have to do is convince me that they're victims. Just like in order for these people to believe all these, all these bullshit lies about me, that I'm lying and that I'm, I'm trying to have vendettas against, you know, kids, all they have to do is prove to these people that they're, they're normal, just like them. And this is the thing, that's not entirely a lie, you know. Just because, just because they might have lied to these people, it doesn't mean they're not just like them. There's, there's no way you're going to have a connection with somebody who isn't like you. There's no way. But at the end of the day, right, if somebody lies to you and instead of questioning, I don't care if this person's telling me the truth, I'm going to fucking question it. I'm going to, I'm going to stress test it. I'm going to stress test everything. And I'm going to make sure I'm following body language. I'm following, I'm, I'm checking the facts two or three times because the thing is I get the facts wrong. So I'm checking the facts two or three times. I'm checking the facts two or three times before I do something. I'm going to stress test what they're saying. And if I know they're lying to me, there are, there are certain tells that people have when they're lying. And as a targeted individual who's used to having people infiltrate her, I've learned how to, I've learned how to spot those tells. I've learned how to spot those tells. Those tells are very easy for me to spot now. I can easily spot when somebody's lying to me. But that took work and that took experience and that took, you know, really, really getting how people operate it took me decades of reading social cues and reading emotional cues because i have it like i have undiagnosed autism right mild but it's undiagnosed so i've had to really learn how to read social cues stress test the truth in order to you know in order to really figure out what a person's like and how they operate it's not enough for me anymore for somebody to just say they're a TI or just be an underdog anymore. They have to actively prove to me that they're telling the truth. And conversely, if somebody says that person is lying, if somebody says the person who's telling me stuff is lying, I'm exactly the same way. 
If they're lying to me, bring the proof. I'm not going to, I'm not just going to sit here and believe that they're telling me the truth or they're lying based on just what they say. I'm stress testing that shit. I'm doing my research. I'm looking it up. I'm asking questions. So if I'm being lied about and people are making me out to be crazier than I am and people are doing all, doing all that type of shit and you, and you choose to believe it, if people are making me making this targeted individual stuff out to be, you know, a lie, if you're making Havana syndrome out to be a lie, if you're making me out to be crazier than I am and that person believes you, then it becomes their responsibility. It becomes their responsibility, not yours. So at the end of the day, you are responsible for your intentions and your actions. If it's your intention to incite violence or incite suicide or to cause somebody to be vulnerable enough to contemplate that, then that's your responsibility. But if there are people around you who choose to believe you, who choose to believe your lie and who choose to facilitate what you're doing, then that's a them problem. Simple. And when people do wrong, they love to pass the buck. People don't like to be made look, made to look stupid. Well, if you're going to wallow in your own ignorance. People don't like to be made to look stupid, but they want to weaponize their own ignorance so that they don't have to face reality. They want to weaponize their competence, the competent, incompetence so they don't have to face reality. They want to fucking act ignorant and wallow in their own ignorance so they don't have to face reality. And then when all is said and done and when all, you know, when all the smoke is cleared, they, they, you know, they don't want to look stupid. This, this is exactly what I'm saying. It's not just the narcissistic liars that have to take responsibility. Remember, narcissists are the ones who usually have a lot of friends. They usually have a lot of people that they talk to because they need the energy to feed off of. People who have a lot of friends usually have narcissistic personalities. We live in a day and age where people know this. So, I mean, <laughs> we live in a day and age where people know this shit. Narcissists, you know, in terms of politics... Narcissists are the leaders. They are the ones that people get behind. So the fact that the, the fact that this person, this same person, these same people who have been lying to you about me, who have like who have been collecting friends and collecting allies like nobody's business, like that didn't tip you off. And then on top of that, the fact that. These people have been saying shit, but I have been saying, shit. I've only been saying shit online. You haven't even been saying, yeah. Some of these people around here, they haven't seen my online presence. Some of them have, but some of them haven't, right? And there are people who haven't even seen my online. And on top of that, I haven't been talking to other neighbors about, about anybody here. I haven't been talking to other neighbors about one another. I haven't been talking to them about anybody. All I've done is ask like maybe one neighbor round here. They own a, um, why I call it there? They own a mechanic shop. The only thing I did was ask them about deliveries. That's it. There are people in this village who have spoken to me. I don't talk to them about my neighbors. I don't talk to them about my neighbors because it's none of their fucking business. I don't talk to them about, I don't talk to them about my neighbors. I don't talk to them about people. I don't, I don't go around talking to nobody around here about nobody. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even talk to people. So what, what, what rumors am I going to spread? So you've got a situation where one side is running their mouth repeatedly about everyone. And then you've got a, a situation where one side is running their mouth. Another side is saying absolutely nothing to defend themselves except for online, and you ain't twig yet? And you ain't twig yet? That's a you problem. That's a you problem. You choose to believe lies about people. That's you. 
And if you choose to lie about people, that's you. Everybody just needs to take responsibility for their shit and stop passing a buck. I beg. Stop. Stop. But you said she was lying. But you said she was... And? And? Children are literally the only people with any excuse to use that line. But you said children are supposed to do what adults tell them. And they're supposed to follow what adults tell them. So only children can get to use that excuse of, but you said she was lying. Or only children can use that excuse as a grown adult. Ain't no grown adult using that excuse. I'm sorry. Ain't no grown person using that excuse and having that flight. I'm so sorry. From the time you're grown, you are responsible for what you intend to do and what you do. Simply put, learn a lesson. You can't pass the buck, especially if you've been taking the lies that somebody else has told you and spreading that yourself. <laughs> That's a you problem. That is a you problem. From time you're grown, that's a you problem. That's a you problem, mate. I learned the hard way. Don't don't fall for any, don't fall for any and everybody who seems like an underdog. I learned that the hard way. But I learned. And instead of passing a buck and saying, well, that person lied or well, that person did this or well, that person did this, I, I'm sitting I'm sitting to myself and I'm thinking, OK, clearly my bitterness is clouding my judgment. Clearly bitterness over the way I've been treated and I'm still being treated is clouding my judgment. So instead of letting that cloud my judgment, let me just sit back. And observe. Let me just sit back and observe. If you're telling me the truth, you've got to pr there's got to be evidence to back that up. And if you're lying to me, there's got to be evidence to back that up too. I'm not going to believe somebody's lying to me unless I see evidence that they're lying to me. I'm not going to believe that they're telling me the truth unless I see evidence that they're telling me the truth. And if you are a grown adult and you're not doing that shit, well... Wow. I don't fucking buy into everybody that sucks my dick. Don't get me wrong, I like being flattered. I like being flattered as much as the next human being, but that alone is not going to get me to believe you. You flattering me, it just means I end up playing the long game. That's all. You know, people want to insult me. I can just I can just skip the pretense and just be like, well, yeah, OK, fuck you. I don't care about you. I don't care about what you do. You know, and if I have to be objective, I'll be objective. But when it comes to people that flatter me, yeah, I just play the long game because clearly that's what they're doing. So. It doesn't matter whether somebody said I was lying or not. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter if somebody said I was lying. Did you believe it? Did you choose to believe it rather than question anything? Did you do your research and ask for evidence? Did you ask for evidence that I was that this person was lying? Did you even come and talk to me? Did you ask for evidence that I was lying? Because this same person who told you that I was lying... I was the same one that confronted one of them in, I think it was December last year. And I confronted them with actual evidence of their relatives harassing me. And they claimed they couldn't hear. Yet I'm lying. Seriously? Okay, babes. Okay. Okay. You chose to believe that. That was your responsibility not anybody else's responsibility. You chose to believe that. That's what the fuck you get. 
That's what the fuck you get. That's what the fuck you get for trying to feel important at somebody else's expense. That's what the fuck you get. I don't feel sorry for you. I know that I know that even if people know the truth, they're not going to tell the truth. They're not going to tell the truth. They're not going to let it. They're not going to let it be known. They can't. You can't afford to take the risk. You're not going to let anybody know that I'm telling the truth. You're not going to let the people, the multiple people that you've talked shit about me to, let them know that I'm telling the truth. You can't afford to take that fucking risk. But you put yourself in that position. You put yourself in that position. So the people who lied about me and said that I was lying about everything, they put themselves in a specific position. And especially with the intentions behind what they were doing, they put themselves in a specific position that is up to them, that is for, that is their lookout. And the people who chose to believe their lies, rather than looking around them and looking around it, you know, and, you know, looking around them, using their... You know, observing their surroundings, using their fucking common sense, choosing to believe that because they wanted to feel more powerful and important than a black woman, than somebody with mental health issues, than somebody who stays by herself. You wanted to feel more special and important that, that, than that person. Somebody who dresses well, who does she think she is? Yeah, you wanted to feel more powerful and important than that person and that overtook your common sense. That's a you problem. That's a you problem. So all of these narcissists, we, we've, been, we've been studying narcissists for the longest now. The amount of people talking online and even in real life about narcissists and gaslighting and, and, you know, narcissists have a lot of friends and narcissists don't admit they're wrong and narcissists, they always lie and narcissists do this and narcissists do that. And yet you can't spot one right in front of you. My guy, there is no excuse. And everything that I've said online, this is one of the reasons why people don't like me being online. Because everything that I'm saying online can be looked up. Everything that I am saying online can be looked up right now. The government have been funding a 270 million, they've been funding defense systems, like giving them 272 million pounds for, I think, about five years or something. So they've been giving millions, hundreds of millions of pounds in government funding for defense systems, defense systems that already make quite a bit of profit. And can already sustain, sustain themselves. And yet the government are, have chosen to give them £272 million worth of funding. Where do you think that's going? All the weapons that I'm talking about. Raytheon got advertised. Lockheed got advertised. Listen. BAE Systems got advertised, my guy. Stop it. Everything that I've been saying about Havana Syndrome. Targeting. Community stalking. All of that, all of that can be looked up online. Increasingly with evidence, cyber torture. Nils Meltzer did a fucking UN talk on it. Back in October 2020, to October 2020, that was the year that I came to Brighton. Nils Meltzer talked to the UN about this shit. I literally spoke to like... The first time I landed here in Brighton, the first thing I did was contact Brighton MPs, like Brighton and Hove MPs about my situation. And I told them, look, I was walking away from London because everything in London was corrupt. They were covering up obvious trafficking crimes. They were covering up obvious break-ins. They were covering up for people who were breaking into my home, stealing my things, contaminating my things. And they were trying to get me sectioned because they didn't want the truth getting out. And I had evidence on my side. 
So that's why I left London. I told the, em the, the second I landed here, the second I landed here, I told the MPs all about that shit. Hey, baby. Targeted Tony came up. I told I told Brighton and Hove all about that shit the second I landed it. I know, I know, baby. I know you ain't crazy either. I know you're not crazy either. Now they got us fucked up, man. Like, you, you really want to say that? Oh, no. No. The second I landed here in Brighton and Hove, the first thing I did was tell the MPs, look, this is what's going on. The first time I landed here, I've been, t I've been telling, this is why I tell the NHS everything. It's because it's on my fucking records. I have been telling, um, you know, the GP about how my gums were eroded away due to electronic weapons. One of my dentists in London, I, I'm so, I'm so mad that I didn't get the x-ray from her. I'm so mad that I lost that. But my dentist in London was concerned about my gum loss. She was concerned about my gum loss. But when I went to the GP here in Woodingdean, and I've got their name because I've got their name on record, okay? They examined my mouth, said that I was delusional, even though a dentist in London was literally concerned about the gum loss that I was experiencing due to the electronic weaponry. She didn't know it was electronic weaponry at the time, but she was really, really concerned. Baby, I'll read your comments. I will read your comments. Just give me a second, okay? In fact, I've got them screenshot. I'm actually going to get to that. That's a really good point. Um, I'm going to get to that in just a second. You've made some really good points here. You've made some excellent points. I'm going to get to those in a second. So the, even though the dentist in London said that I wasn't making the Havana syndrome shit up, well, she said no. She didn't say anything about Havana syndrome. What she really said was, this is concerning to me. This is concerning to me. And up until that point, I've been hammered in the jaw with electronic weapons for like a good amount of time. Like I'm still getting hammered now. There are times where I can't chew and times where I can chew. And the gang stalkers stay lying saying that it's a fucking infection. An infection caused by what? I brush my teeth religiously and I clean my mouth like you wouldn't believe. So where the fuck is that coming from? Where the fuck is that coming from? Where is it coming from? I've got electronic weapons hitting my fucking jaw. The dentist in London was literally said that's cause for concern. That is worrying. And get the GP over here in Wooding Dean is saying that's delusion. I've got that on fucking record. Stop it. I've got that on fucking record. Don't even try it. In fact, I should probably get the fucking dentist records. Because the dentists are not NHS, so I probably need to get their records of all of all the notes that are on there and compare it with the notes that I've got now. But the second I landed here in Brighton, I said, this is what I'm going through. Community stalking, electronic harassment, Havana syndrome, cyber torture, that I'm going through the whole nine. I told them that the second I landed here. This is what I'm saying. Why do I need the internet when my medical records are right fucking there? Why do I need the internet when my medical records are right there and they know I'm going to tell the truth about the shit? And after, after a while, you tell enough lies, these people tell enough lies, the lies start to contradict each other because how the fuck is a dentist in London from two years, not even two years ago, from three to four fucking years ago. How is a dentist from three to four fucking years ago going to be concerned about my gums? And yet this fucking GP who's supposed to be qualified will look at the size of my mouth and say that I'm delusional. Where the fuck do they do that at? What has it, what, did my fucking gums miraculously heal in the three to four years from then to now? Bullshit. Because I was getting fired on my gums when I was living in that hostel.
Back in January, I was getting fired in my fucking gums. Now I've been getting fired in my fucking gums. And the way this torture works, you're fired on your... The, the weapons that they fire on you, they make sure to bombard you with that non-ionized radiation so your body is destroyed faster than, it, faster than it can heal. So I know for damn sure that there's been substantial gum damage since then. You ain't fucking fooling me with this shit. There are times where I can't even keep my fucking mouth closed because of the amount of gum damage that I've got. There are times where I can't even keep my fucking mouth closed because the amount of gum damage that I have. About delusion. About lies. You choose to believe that you're a fucking idiot. And not only are you a fucking idiot, you chose to wallow in your own idiocy. That's your fault. That's your fucking fault. That is your fucking fault. And again, the lies, they're always going to contradict each other. They're always going to contradict. Yeah, so, yeah, so I think today, I don't know, I think today the truth needs to be spoken, for once, for fucking once, and not just, for, not just by me, the truth needs to be spoken, they allow dental conditions to get worse, yeah, dental health and cardiac health go, ha what, I didn't know that, let me look that up. Because I know that I know it's about the nerves. It's about the nerves, isn't it? Let me look that up. I'm losing bone too. You see, they hit us in our bone marrow as well. Connection. The stress alone, the stress alone from toothache is definitely going to impact your cardiac health. There is no way it ain't. But let me see what else I can find out. Connection between dental health and cardiac health. Okay. Yeah, it says um, gum disease is associated with an increased risk of developing heart disease poor dental health increases the risk of bacterial infection in the bloodstream which can affect the heart valves oral health might be particularly important if you have artificial health valves okay so if they're firing at weapons at your mouth and we all know that these weapons um they dehydrate the body right so if they're fired at your mouth what happens is that your mouth becomes sort of a steam cooker and it ends up dissolving away at your gums. And if your saliva is not effective in breaking down the bacteria, then plaque can build up. And yeah, bacterial infection in the bloodstream, that's real. Because yeah, yeah, bacterial infection in the bloodstream, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought I thought that GP was talking shit, but apparently not. Um, but yeah, the directed energy weaponry, especially if it's going to be fired at your gums repeatedly, it's wearing away not only your gums, but it's affecting the it's basically reducing the effectiveness of your saliva in killing off the bacteria in your mouth. So they know exactly what they're doing. So not only do you have to deal with the stress of having weapons fired on there in the first place because it is incredibly painful. But then on top of that, it's reducing the effectiveness of your saliva because it's dehydrating your body and turning your mouth essentially into a fucking air fryer. So you get the wonderful combination of there not being enough, uh, you know, um, where I call it there, not being, in, you know, not being 
enough available you know saliva in order to kill the bacteria in your mouth so the, the saliva is not there in order to protect your mouth and your gums and, and give you that nutrition that you need because saliva does provide nutrition for the body so the, the nutritional value of your, of your saliva is decreased the effectiveness of your saliva is decreased your mouth your gums are being eroded so that definitely plays a part in your cardiac health so to targeted tony la backup basically yeah the yeah, you got you got it in one my guy you got it in one bro you got it in one you were not wrong i researched it you were right in fact i'm going to show you right now hang on right i'm going to show you right now per periodontist periodontitis is associated with an increased risk of developing heart disease Poor dental health increases the risk of bacterial infection in the bloodstream, which can affect the heart valves. Oral health might be particularly important if you have artificial heart valves. So, yes, targeted Tony was right. So, yeah, that's another way in which. So basically, on top of firing weapons on your heart in the first place, right, they also attack your gums. You see, I thought attacking our gums was an aesthetic thing. I didn't understand about the heart condition thing, but it makes sense. If they're trying to sort and shorten our lifespan, they're going to shorten it by any means necessary. And remember, this is the same, this is the same thing that these doctors told me that I was delusional about. The same thing that this dentist was concerned about three to four years ago, but mind you, is the same thing that the doctors told me that I was delusional about last year again the records show everything lie upon lie upon lie and again those who choose to tell the lie with the intention of covering something up they're responsible for what they do and they're responsible for what they intend but the people who choose to believe them you wanted to believe them because you wanted the benefit of wallowing in your own ignorance and not being called stupid that's a you problem. That that is not that is not the fault of the liars. That's your fault. That is your fault. That is your fault. Nobody else's fault. And let's have a look at what else targeted Tony LA has been saying. Okay. I can't continue to live like this. They have to pay and I'm not waiting on God on God, or my, for my life to get worse. This is depopulation. They'll never admit this. No, they won't. This is what I don't understand. If people need to do things that are this evil to people, if people are doing things that are this evil to people, and they feel the need to rebrand it or, or, or like soften it in their own minds, then why do it? If you need to soften it in your own minds to make it palatable to everyone else, then you shouldn't be doing it, should you? So they'd have to pay reparations for far too many people that will bankrupt them. It's like I said before, right? I... Every citizen in the country, I believe, has an insurance policy out on them. And I think this is especially the case for anybody who has had these weapons tested on them. As test subjects, we have to be insured, right? We do have to be insured. Um, I think we have secret trust in our name as well, because every citizen in this country is a citizen of the country, uh, no, every citizen in this country is an employee of the country. Because remember, the UK is a corporation owned by the four major parties. Uh, the Conservatives, of course, own the biggest share. OK, so this company is literally a limited company. This country is, li is a limited company. It's not, a, a, you know, it's not it's a for profit. The UK is a for-profit organisation. They just don't put their profits on the books. And they don't put their profits on the books for a reason. That's how they manage to create loopholes in which people end up dead over, 
you know, austerity measures or, you know, this is how they get away with it. It's because the UK technically is a for profit anyway. Therefore, anything that they do for profit can be explained away by saying, look, we're just trying to save money. If people end up dead, they end up dead. But I think I believe I personally believe that every single citizen in this country has a trust in their name. I think that every single experimentee into this is insured because they can't just insure the weapons. They have to insure whatever the weapons are used on and they have to make sure that every technique that is used on said experimentee is successful. So I would not be surprised if we were insured, if all targeted individuals were insured as well as you know, having a trust in their name. But this is what Tony means about the reparations thing. They'd have to pay too reparations for far too many people who will bankrupt them. Money is already, is already 5% what it should be worth. So money has lost about 95% of its wealth, of its worth already, right? Imagine a hundred million people being paid billions of pounds or being paid like even millions of pounds, not even billions, millions. Imagine there, is, there are supposedly like a hundred million people who are targets. Sure, it's only a small group of us that know we're targets, but apparently the number of people who are actually targeted is in the hundreds of millions. Imagine all those people being paid reparations in full. So their trust is being given to them. Their insurance is being paid out and given to them. Imagine a hundred million people getting their reparations. If money wasn't fucking worthless before, if they start paying us reparations like that, it's going, that worthlessness is going to increase economically. So it wouldn't just be these defense systems companies that would be bankrupt. It would affect the entirety of society if they were to give reparations for everything that we've been through. And that's just TIs. Let's not talk about the Native Americans. Let's not talk about black folk. Let's not talk about indigenous folk all over the world. They were to be paid reparations, baby. Money would be a thing of the fucking past. Because it'd be worth this. We'd be going back to trading. These people have put, put themselves in such a deep fucking hole that the only way out is to keep hurting us. And yet the more they keep hurting us, the bigger they deep, dig that ditch. So what, what else is there left to do but reset the population? This is what I'm saying. If you have to soften the blow of all the damage that you cause, then don't fucking do the damage. Don't fucking do it. If you have to soften what you if you have to soften it and try to make it palatable to people, don't fucking do it. It's that fucking simple. And they allow dental conditions to get worse. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Tony was right. Tony. Shout out to Tony. He was right about that shit. I'm losing bone too. And my gums have receded badly. Same with my gums. Yeah. Yeah, my gums, are, my gums are fucking. I've got tartar down here. I can show it to you guys because it's not as bad as it once was. But... Listen, once that tartar gets deep into your gums, that's what I try to avoid. That's why I brush like crazy. That's why I use like a fucking tooth remover on my tooth. That you know, one of those plaque removers on your tooth. I use that. It's not as bad as it could be. It's it's been worse than that before. Um so I have plaque on my tooth, plaque on my teeth right here, and I brush religiously floss do whatever i need to do like in order to get keep that plaque down 
That's why people people don't teach you to floss, but floss is really important. Flossing is really, really important. Nobody ever te- teaches you that. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, I've got, I've got gum loss right here, right here. I can, but there are times where I can't keep my mouth fucking closed because of how bad the gum loss is. Weapons, all of that is weapons. All of it. You seriously think somebody my age can lose that amount of fucking gum and lose all the fucking teeth out of my head? I've been losing the teeth out of my head since I was a teenager. Do you seriously think that would have been happening without the directed energy weaponry? They've been firing that shit on me since I was a child. Since I was a child, they've been firing that shit on me and my family. So again, again, if people choose to believe the lies about TIs, if people choose to believe those lies about us, then the people who believe the lies, that is on you. And don't you dare turn around and say, well, you know, if you care about somebody, I get it, it's human nature, but in order to do the right thing, or in e- or even just to use common sense, you can't go by human nature, you can't go by your fucking feelings, because they're not reliable. Most of the time, they they will tell you what you want, which is a good thing, but they're not reliable in terms of getting to the truth sometimes. Your truth and their truth are not kind of the same thing. This is exactly what I'm saying, so... The fact that I've been, you know, a lot of people are like, shh, 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 shh. but the fact that I've been, you know, I've been threatening and I've been angry and I've been, you know, you know, I've been screaming and yelling and shit and having breakdowns and I, I don't sugarcoat any of it. I don't sugarcoat that. It happened. But when you put into context everything that is going on around me and other people, now you get it. Now you get why all that has been happening. I don't sugarcoat shit. I don't sugarcoat shit that I do. That's the first thing I don't do. The second thing I don't do is I don't go around telling all these villagers, hey, this person said this about me. This person said, I've only told one other villager. And that's only because they came to me and started talking to me. I don't talk to nobody like that. I don't talk, I don't go around fraternizing with nobody like that because people have been disrespecting me here. I don't fraternize with people who are going to disrespect me based on nothing and based on their own ignorance. I don't fraternize with people who are going to fucking be disrespectful to me. Do you understand? That's what I'm saying. I don't fraternize with people who are going to fucking disrespect me. I don't deal with that shit. That's not where I live. That's not where I stay. So I don't go around. So technically, you could say that I don't go around spreading rumors about people. You can say that I don't fucking, you know, I don't have that many friends. So I don't, I don't go, go around spreading rumors like that. I ain't got time. I like to confront the problem. So out of the two parties, I'm the one who's confronted the problem. I'm the one who's told the truth. I'm the one who doesn't go around spreading shit to everybody else to make them feel fucking powerful about their impotent lives. I'm the one who's kept it a buck 100% of the way, keep checking myself, keep checking in with myself to see how I'm feeling. I'm doing, I'm the only one doing the right thing here. I'm doing, I'm the one doing the right thing here. Take from it whatever you want to take from it. If you want to victimize yourself based on that shit, then go right ahead. But it doesn't change what you've done. Take from it whatever you want to take from it.
Oh, anyway, what have I got to say now? Targeted to Tony had to hold on. Oh, yeah, he had to dip. I got to look up his uh com comments here. Life insurance policies out on TIs. Yeah, yeah, I had the same thing too. Um, I had another TI show me evidence that there was a life insurance policy out on them. But then it makes sense because if we're experimentees, they've got to insure everything. They've got to insure the equipment. And they've got to insure the test subjects, you know, to ensure that if anything happens to the test subjects, they can replace the test subjects. Like, it makes sense. Oral irrigator, yeah. Dental pick. Gargle warm water and sea salt. Yes, I got you, baby. I got you. All right. Neem oil, vitamin K. Yeah. I've heard a lot about vitamin K in the community. Hydroxy, hydroxy appetite toothpaste. I'm going to look that up as well. I'm gonna buy it too. Me remineralize the teeth. Can't can't get can't get much better than that. I'm gonna go, but much love. I will, babes. I will have a good day. Sending big love and big hug from Los Angeles. Sending it right back from Brighton, sweetheart. Sending it right back. Okay, so now I gotta go. So I'm glad I read all those comments. I'm glad I read all those comments, and I'm glad I screenshot them because now I'm gonna I'm gonna look all that up. I love you guys. Take care. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.